Okay, in this question, we are given the charge and the time. So we can find the current, which is the rate of flow of charge. So current I is equal to Q divided by T, which is 120 divided by 60. That will give us 2 ampere. And to find the potential difference across the lamp, we have the power, we have the current, we can use the formula P is equal to VI. V is equal to power divided by current. That will be 24 divided by 2. We have 12 volts. Answer B. Okay, for this question, we are given the potential difference and the charge. And we are supposed to find out the amount of electrical energy that is being converted. So we can use the formula. Voltage is equal to energy over charge. So energy is equal to voltage multiplied by charge. That will give us 12 times 100, which is 1200 joules. Answer D. In order to find out the resistance of the wire, we have to find out the potential difference across the coin as well as the current that is flowing through the coin. And we use the formula Resistance is equal to voltage divided by current to find the resistance. Okay, so we have to make sure that the voltmeter is connected in parallel with the coin and the ammeter is connected in series. So we look at option A, this is correct. Although the voltmeter is not connected in parallel with the coin, instead it is connected in parallel with the cell, this does not matter because the the potential difference of the cell, in this case, is also the potential difference across the coin. Okay, so A is the answer. Okay, let's look at why the other three options are wrong. Option B, emitter is connected in series, so this is wrong. And option C, voltmeter is connected in series and emitter is connected in parallel, so this is wrong. And for D, we have the voltmeter that is connected in series. So A is the answer. Okay, to answer this question, we have to understand how does the current flow during discharging and recharging. During discharging, the current flows out from the positive terminal Okay, and during recharging, if this is the battery, the current must flow in the opposite direction. That means the current must flow into the positive terminal of the battery in order to charge it. So now let's look at option A. Okay, when the current is moving in this way, the diode allows this, allowed it to pass through and it will reach the terminal, the positive terminal to charge it. And when the current of the AC supply goes in the opposite direction, the current will be blocked by the diode. So this setup A, it ensures that the current only flows in one direction into the positive terminal to charge it. So this is the correct setup. Answer A. Okay, for this question, right, let's look at what happens when the switch is wired into the neutral conductor. Okay, this is a live terminal and neutral terminal. So we have the wire that links to the appliance back to the neutral wire with a switch here. Okay, in this setup, we can see that Although the, the switch is open, the live terminal is still connected to the appliance. So this means that even when the switch is open, right, the appliance is still connected to the high voltage and this might pose a danger to the user. So the answer should be if the switch is wired into the neutral conductor, the circuit in the wire it remains live when the switch is open. Answer A.